Good evening, everyone. Sir Biznatch here. Today, I want to talk to you about how we can play some Sega Genesis games on our PC. If you're like me and you grew up playing this system, you're going to get a very, very warm, fuzzy feeling of nostalgia when you do this. And uh, it's pretty quick and easy to set up. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it, okay? And uh, bear with me here. Uh, we'll uh, just go right in. The app that you want is Kega Fusion with a K. You can see I recently searched it, but that's how you're going to spell it. You're going to click on that. And the first option that you get on the Google search results is segraretro.org. I like to open everything in a new tab. What I see here under contents is this downloads link. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, now version 3.64 is the newest. So if we go ahead and download that, which I have already done, okay, uh, but I'll just do it again here for uh, video's sake. It only takes a few seconds to download. I mean, it, it, it's not all that much. So we'll open that up. Now I use 7-zip, so uh, we're going to open it with that to open any compressed files. I like to put these in my emulators folder on my desktop and create a shortcut to this exe. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll minimize all this stuff here. This is what that shortcut is actually going to look like. We'll open this up. Now, the first thing that I like to do when I get in here is I know I'm playing old games on a new machine, right? So uh, we'll go to full screen resolution and jack that all the way up. Why not, right? We'll do the same thing with the sound. And then uh, we're going to come over here to options. Now, if you want to see what your frames per second are while you're playing a 32-bit game, be my guest, but I'm going to go ahead and, and uncheck that. And, uh, you know, this this app you uh, can do other uh, Sega platforms as well, but today we're going to talk about Genesis. So um, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the set configuration. Okay, now this can be a little janky, but uh, we're going to come in here. I like to use my Xbox One controller. You're going to want to make sure that the controller you're using is, uh, you know, paired and working on your computer already. We'll uh, we'll hit define, okay. After we select that, and uh, down here at the bottom, it, it's going to prompt you for how to set this up. So I'm just going to do that in the way that uh, it best suits my needs and how I feel comfortable uh, playing some Sega Genesis games with my Xbox One controller. You can see as I hit each button, it maps it, okay? So we'll go through this process. Uh, and just like I said, whatever feels most comfortable for you, what you're gonna remember and do naturally. And uh, we're just gonna hit okay or apply whichever one happens like i said this part gets a little bit janky but uh you'll you'll figure it out okay now uh the next thing we want to do is we want to go into file and we're gonna load a genesis rom now uh i'm not gonna tell you where to get roms all i'm gonna say is that uh wherever you keep your roms that you got that you obtained safe and legally uh, you're going to open them from that folder, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and load mine up. Now, the questions that I got a lot about, uh, you know, I was streaming on Twitch. I was playing some adventures of Batman and Robin, this Batman 1989 game. Uh, Batman Returns is pretty sweet. I, I had this on Game Gear, and it's, uh, you know, it's one of my favorites. But uh, uh, you can see here I got, like, Road Rash, bunch of the Sonic games, Mortal Kombat, Toe Jam and Earl, X-Men, uh, you know, the, the list goes on. I'm a martial arts guy, so I even got Bruce Lee up in here, but um, just for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and open the adventures of uh, Batman and, and Robin, and uh, you'll see here it starts to load up. I'll, uh, I'll I'll go ahead and put this into uh, full screen mode. There's no issues there. I'll uh, 
I'll double click in here and then uh, because I've mapped it you know I'm just gonna hit my start button and uh, and get going here uh, you get to select between Batman or Robin um, so we'll just uh, we'll pick one of them hit our start button get a cool little intro here what's up Mark Hamill and we are off And that's it, guys. It's it's actually very easy. Only takes a couple of minutes to set up, and it is so worth it. The other thing I want to mention here, um, this is something we couldn't do back in the day, is uh, we can go in here uh, and we can actually save the state. So remember not being able to save the games. I think there might have been a way to do it with the Game Genie, if anybody remembers that. Saving your games and uh, putting in cheat codes, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if there's some kind of Game Genie option for the cheat codes or, or what have you. I, I uh, haven't really been interested in that before. Like I said, I play this for nostalgia, but there might be a way to do it. And if there is, I'll post another video on that down the road. But as you can see... Uh, it's it's less than 10 minutes and, and you're playing some Sega Genesis games so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you find it just as easy to set up as I did and I hope you keep tuning in if you enjoyed this video and, and this worked for you then please like and subscribe there will be more videos like this on emulators and old school games and uh, plenty of other middle aged nerd content as the days go by. So, anyway, guys, it's your biznatch out.